Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on the Master Empire Hunt, the Warrior. Now I think that's the first time I've done it on Master, while well, recording anyway. So keeping up with the current theme, we're going with off meta, kind of an off meta heavy loadout. So I'm going to be using the Thunderlord. I'll explain as we're going through why I chose that. I'm doing a charge with light build, so she'll break charge to get myself charged. Supercharge allows you to carry a maximum of five charges, so that will help keep the DPS up. Reactive Pulse, I did use that on my 100k, just gives me that overshield when I go for a finisher, but also, because we're running the charge with light build, this will help if I'm kind of getting hit by enemies in the close, and then it'll let off an arc pulse. High energy fire as the main output for what charge to charge with light. And as you can see there, charged up, which gives me another charged. I think it still caps at five though. Uh, one thing I would say is I put double machine gun reserves on. The Thunderlord didn't react to that. So 220 is just about as much as I'm going to carry regardless of what I've got. Obviously night watch for the overloads and I'm using the Yan 7 for barriers. And I've went Void Walker because the grenade's going to be doing a ton of the work here. Because as you may or may not remember, the Thunderlord, as well as every other machine gun, had the boss damage nerfed. I think it was 20% less damage against bosses. So we're going to be relying on grenades and other things to grenade super yada yada to do the boss damage. So when you enter here, you're going to... It's like a mini war fallen versus the Vex. And there's two overload champions. Now what I kind of try and do when I first come in here is I target certain enemies, these yellow bars, these elite uh, vandals and hobgoblins, they're just a pain in the backside. So I kind of target those. Remember we've also got uh, Sargita, so every time we stop an overload we are going to get a grenade. And because we we're using Top Tree Nova we've got a really powerful grenade to kind of help us. So. The other thing I'll say, when you're dealing with overloads, if you don't keep them critted, what they will do is they will teleport. You'll see sometimes, you'll you'll hit an overload champion just as he's about to teleport and then it'll kind of cancel his teleportation animation. I took a chance there because I know I've got the reactive pulse on, I, I took a chance there. I did want to finish that, that uh, champion so that... I can freely use Thunderlord because Thunderlord's good on everything but bosses. They, they never changed its damage except for when you're dealing with a boss. So I want this uh, I want this Overlord Champion to come to me. And I know I've got a couple of bricks of heavy. And we'll just uh, mow down that Vandal. And you'll see here, it doesn't matter how many bricks I pick up. I'm going to cap out at 220. And then on to the next section. The biggest issue I had when I was working out what I was going to use for this was how I was going to deal with the boss. Because the Thunderlord, it just ain't it when it comes to the boss. What I had to do was very similar in essence to how i done uh, Navota, Which is, I um, had to play play the mechanics basically. No, no going invisible and running about like a headless chicken. We're going to do this in such a way. Now, I'm going to be honest. This probably, you couldn't probably repeat this exactly on every character because it's the grenade, you know. But that is it. I mean, if you use different weapons, I, I'm trying to do everything without OP kind of heavy weapons. I'm trying to use off meta, something I think everybody's got. That's going to be a feature of the next couple of months, a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months. We'll see. Watch out for the modifiers for the Empire Hunt, the Master Activities, they'll all be the same. So you're still going to have Attrition on, you're still going to have Arc Damage does more, I think. But you, what you've got here is, when you kill a Vandal, they drop a Spider Mine. So you just have to be careful of that. You'll see me act, actually uh, shooting quite a few of them. So wherever I feel like I can isolate champions, and one of these champions is extremely uh, in an extremely good position by the time we finished everything to isolate then I don't mind burning a bit of heavy but we are back to D2 year 1 kind of mind your heavy we've got also got a go go dancer so I'll put a grenade and then I'll, I, I like I like for the wyvern to, 
to separate itself from the champions. So I always come down here and I try and get the wyvern to move to a position where he can shoot me. And that's not always over on the left. And if he goes over there, my nova won't be obstructed or shared. The damage won't be obstructed or shared by any other ads, i.e. the two champions. So I'm trying to get rid of all of these, uh, all of the, the harpies. And then I'll make sure I'm reloaded with my anti-barrier. And then I'll throw a grenade over. There's two snipers over on the far side. It'll kill the red bar. And then what we'll do is we'll drop the shield. Now, I've got about 30-odd ammo in my pulse. So I know if I break the shield, I know I'm going to have enough left in my pulse to do a second break. And now I'm just going to use the scout rifle just to finish him. Then we're going to reload. Now we can push this next barrier champion just a little bit. We can head glitch him. By crouching down, we make sure you've got a charged grenade. Just crouch down, you see, as long as his weapon can't see you, he can't hit you. And again, we're going to do the same thing, get a break. I didn't realise there was still a, still a, a harpy up, but I'm not too bad because that reactive pulse, as soon as he's finishable, take him. He's dropped heavy for me, and then I can take the harpy afterwards. Very, very, very straightforward, and I have to tell you that that, that strategy i've maybe done this tested different places for me that i can go i stuck with the same loadout i was pretty confident that this was going to be a good loadout but that section there works the same every time so that's not a you anybody that's watching this video should know i don't do those sorts of strategies this is every time this will this will work like this so now that you've done that we're going to move to the next section so the next section is a couple of overloads uh, and, and just some encroaching ads and an elite sniper. Now there's been a couple of times where I've managed to take the elite sniper before the overloads because the overloads seem to react differently to what I'm used to. But maybe that's because I'm doing it differently. So first off, I'm just going to charge a grenade. I'm going to jump up and I'm just going to try and capture as many of these ads in the grenade as I can. You can see I was pretty successful. We got them all. There's the elite sniper. Just put a couple on them just to make them go. One of the one of the dregs made it away, no problem. So I've decided I'm just going to melt this next lot because I'm in the next section you do actually drop quite a bit of heavy. So don't worry about heavy uh, cons consumption here. Now this was new for me because ne I've never seen these overloads go all the way to the back. Just gonna charge a grenade throw at that elite sniper. This is where I was taking him from, but this time I decided rather than waste time trying to whittle him all the way down, I would just let him let him go. See he's gone there. And I would concentrate on getting these barriers back up. Now what happened was one of them, well, in fact the two of them right off the bat, they normally jump up to the right here. They just chilled at the back. I didn't want to push. So if you get in this position, don't push. Because they will start, the, the, the teleportation is super aggressive. So you can see here, I managed to stop one. And then I, I was like, wait a minute. I've stopped him, I should have hit him with a grenade. So some uh, Hollywood incoming grenade throws. And I managed to hit both of them with that grenade. Now you can see there, I'm managing to crit a little bit. I wasn't going for crits because I felt like I'm that far away from this overload champ that I'm no threat to him. He won't run away, he won't massively teleport. To be honest, he won't really pay me much attention, which he didn't. And then the other dude went, oh, okay, I'm going up here because it's safe. Mistake. And then it's right back. This is, if you don't have that problem with the overloads all the way at the back behind that bridge, if you don't have that problem, this is where they'll be each time. And you'll see on the left there, overload shot. Now that when you stun, which is why I like using this weapon. Man, he he, he had some aim here. He clocked me twice. Uh, but what I had a grenade. So I just threw a grenade up there and just let the grenade take care of him. You'll, you'll see when you stop an overload champion, you do actually get a damage buff on your overload weapon against overload champions. Which is why I tend to not switch. If, if, I <laughs> know it won't be on a video for a while, uh, if I'm running Anarchy for anything, I will put a couple of Anarchy and then just melt them because it's a one phase finish. 
but uh, I tend to just keep going with the overload. And that's why I've got explosive rounds. It's just to maximize the uh, the output of damage from my from my kinetic. So when you get here, this is just Shank City. Uh, you'll get one wave of just normal kind of uh, normal Shanks. And then when you jump up here, turn, go straight back. Make sure you jump just to save yourself because it's, it's a lottery how fast or how many of them will come out in one go. And you get this. You actually get two waves of these. Just I've seen a lot of heavy there, so I decided there was too many of them for my liking. Close there, you go. There's the rest of them. They never all come out. There's and and these these little beggars will will hide in crevices. And so make sure when you when you feel like you've took there's nothing visible on your screen. Make sure you're checking your radar because they will hide. You'll see that one to the left. They normally would get down below here, right there, right behind me. So don't just charge him. I'm trying to save ammo because the cool thing about this uh, Empire Hunt is you you actually can come back quite a bit, quite a few times, and just check for enemies, uh, check for ammo, check for enemies. There shouldn't be any enemies. So here we are. There's two barriers and a shank. Now, under normal circumstances... Uh, we would have normally have to have ran a solar weapon because the shank is solar. I was pretty sure match game was on, but the Thunderlord didn't really give a damn about the shields. So here, same thing. All the champs, all the barriers were going the same way. I'm just getting the melt on and then finish. Just because I know I'm going to use a lot of Thunderlord because it's... Listen, the Thunderlord is here for ads and champions not for boss damage it's just not it for boss damage i was relying on my neutral game and my super and the, that's why i chose the warlock because the warlock's neutral game is so strong you can use stasis I, I i don't know i just don't trust stasis to be fair uh I'll, I'll get there i will get there but at the moment i'm still like i trust if, I, if i'm doing stuff like this then i need grenades to just keep coming back for me. I trust the Warlock more than any other character. So, as you can see there, we took the champions, melted down this uh, heavy shank, uh, melted down his shield, and then I just tossed a grenade up, and you, you can see there the damage these grenades do. They're, they're, they're badass grenades. So, I'm just going to make sure I've got as close to full, if not full, and then I'm off. I know I've got ammo here. You can see there. I've got heavy. I know I can come back and get that. Because this next section. This. Other than the boss. This is the trickiest. You've got two go-go two go -go dancers. That's what I call the wyverns. Uh, you've got two dancers. You've got a couple of barriers. And a, a host of other enemies. So I, I normally go down here. And I try and just put a couple of shots on the fallen. Because normally you'll get your barrier. You see there's the barrier there. And you need to keep him up here. Because he won't... He'll see you. But he won't focus on you. He will focus on the fallen. If you don't attack him. So you can see another fallen of... Tri of, of seeing where I am. I want the heavy. I just And, and normally when you finish a champion. You are going to get... Uh, you are going to get a font of light. You are going to get some attrition which helps... Now, I'm always very careful when I see that purple stuff because I know that there's a there's a wyvern incoming. You can see there, good grenade. I just put it down there, speculative, just to see what I could get out of it. I got that captain, and I, I actually think I'd done a fair bit of damage. And now I'm just going to throw my Nova down there. Now, you see I tried to throw as close to being in cover as I could. There's another wyvern coming up, but what we get... And this didn't happen every run as I got a champion coming up here. I didn't get the champion. I'm sure a champion comes up here this time. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't get a champion. I thought I got you. Yep, there we go. I'm not wrong. So what I've done is... That is... If you can't hit that grenade... And that's not me being... Uh, arrogant. That's a real tight grenade. Even when I threw it, I wasn't sure I was going to hit if you can't hit that grenade, fine. Just stay up here. You've got a wyvern and a champion. You're not really going anywhere anyway. 
that grenade is much easier to hit. So if you can't hit the first grenade, or you're unsure you're going to be able to hit that, just start putting some heat on, on the wyvern, and he will move. He'll come up here, and then you can do that. So we've got a champion. So I've jumped. I jumped so that the champion never had an angle on me, and then exactly the same way that we took the first one. Grenade on. Break the shield. Right into the Thunderlord. And but if you're hitting crits, you won't have to break the shield again. You can finish right from there. And I've got quite a bit of heavy. And now we've got maybe some goblins. Definitely a champion down here. Sometimes you'll have two champions down here. So I'm just going to put right in the middle of them all. Make sure my, my barrier pulse is reloaded. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing. But this time, because I wasn't critting and because I'm when I was moving, I uh, I lost the ability to do it in one phase. I know I've still got heavy up there. And now, uh, as you'll see here, I luckily just got the break. So I'm going to reload just to make sure. And now we'll get the finish. So I move around here so I don't hit the brick off. The direction you finish an enemy in can be just as important, you know, because if I'd have finished them off into the into the, the Vex Milk, the Radio Larium, then it would have been a bad day. So I know I've got, I know I've got heavy back where we were just were, so I'm just going to go and get it and go into the boss area with full heavy because I'm not really going to use any on the brig. Now, I probably said this at this, t at this time... I haven't made the thumbnail or any of that, so I'm probably going to put it on there. This is a platinum. There, there is a couple of barriers that despawn. They're supposed to despawn. They're not part of getting the platinum. So don't worry when you take the brig out. Just run, run to the boss. You're not even avoiding them. They will auto despawn. There's nothing you can do about it. If a champion is going to despawn, then it's it cannot be linked. To the, achieve, the, 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 the triumph or the achievement of getting a platinum. And again, as I say, this is a flawless run. So if you've still to do that, this is the one. So now we've got the brig. Again, we're going to use abilities. And, you know, it's we're not melting this boss. And we're not, you know, it's, it's just going to be what it is. We're going to take him from back here. Stay safe. And because we've got controversy on, look at how much of my grenade I get back after throwing that. It's almost fully back. But watch out for these. The, the mortar attacks. Just watch out for them. Just toss another grenade on his feet. That one actually hit him. Which is even better. When he does that. When you see those shots going up. Just watch out. Just jump back. If you're not on a warlock. You, the titan can still do that type of stuff. But you can jump back. There's the shots. Now, I, I actually come back a little bit too early on one of these and took a heap of, heap of hits. Now, I'm using a lot of primary. I have to make sure I'm coming in with full primary as well. So, you see, I moved back, went into the radio larium. That's, you know, you've got to be careful. And I put that grenade on, let the grenade eat him. Because at, at one point, I think this is where I come back a little bit. No, I'm fine. I'm good. Must have just been the radio area. You see, now he's got a crit point. Now I'm going to go up here, and he will go up in the air, and he'll fire this kind of solar attack at you. You'll see it in the doorway, kind of landing in the doorway. It can't make it to you. But when he goes down, he will go, he will go back to throwing the mortar attack. So you have to be careful of that. But while he's got the crit point, the scout rifle can maybe not melt him, just thread the needle there. Put a grenade. It hit for it hit for a bit, and you can see it's still doing damage. I was I was close there, but I managed to get away. Managed to get myself into cover. Uh, I'm gonna go back because you'll see there. I'm burning a lot of primary, but I know I've got primary back here, so it's a good it's a good practice actually because you'll see here. I actually start regening my health before I get back, so. That's pretty good. I didn't have to use my, my rift. I'm going to have my my grenade. <clears throat> I'm going to have my grenade, full full ammo and everything else for going into the boss fight. So now that he's still firing those, I'm going to go and get a better angle on him. 
He's went up in the air, which is exactly what we want, and you'll see here, not much. It took a fair bit of health off him, to be fair, a lot more than I was thinking. Now we're at the boss. The whole loadout. You'll see there, I wanted to just show them all despawning. The whole loadout was based on the boss battle, because this is the only part that I remember when I'd done it before, that I was like, oof, that's, that's tricky, that. So what we're going to do is when he comes down, charge a grenade, put a grenade on top of him, and then I'm going to throw my Nova. I gave it a second because the grenade and the Nova can clear some of the ads. You see here, I'm just using a little bit of Thunderlord, trying to get my grenade back as well. And there, more invisibles. But luckily, because I got that attrition, uh... I'm getting my health regen, so we're just going to throw another grenade on him. And just putting a little bit on him, but now I'm just trying to cover a bit of ground, just trying to clear a few enemies, or at least take them down. And you'll see there, that could have been bad. And the reason why, the reason why it could have been bad is I threw my grenade a little bit too early. I still had the well, which was good, so I'll just take these last these enemies out. Uh, I threw my grenade a little bit too early and it never actually it never actually uh, done a lot of damage to him uh, it, it did to him you see he's gone he's gone immune now I'm I've left myself in a little bit of trouble here because I've got zero health my health's coming back now but I, I had zero health I never had a rift and we're going up and that's because I threw my my grenade too early and you see here I'm just gonna take the chance it's not really a chance if you see an attrition just go and get it because as long as as long as you don't run right out in front of a boss you see there just getting health back for, for nothing now we'll just put this grenade on us and then I'll put a rift down because the more enemies that the grenade takes out the faster Faster, I should get my grenade back, but I never actually got a lot of grenade energy back there. Now you've got shanks. So when you come in here, you're going to get a couple of waves of normal ads, and then you're going to get shanks. This was probably where I started thinking about the boss battle. Trying to conserve uh, ammunition. Another thing, if, if, he, if he pops his super, you've got two pillars here. If you can tell that he's popping his super, you've got two... Two of these blocks here. If you see that crystal, if you see him crystallizing like that, see I got caught there. I'm just using my heavy just to clear those guys. Uh, you just either back away if you see that cr crystallizing effect in front of you. Either just back away, just throw a grenade on him like I'm doing there, or you see it slide to the next pillar. As, I, as I've already said, I'm just going to put a little bit on him here, just to bring him down a little bit. Uh, um, because because the Thunderlord isn't a boss-killing machine, it was never supposed to be. Well, it was, it was at one point, if you guys remember. Uh, again, got caught. Not, 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 not really too bad, because I've seen... I don't really bother if I get caught if I'm in, if I'm in cover. If you're in cover... Then it's not a big deal. Just throw my Nova, try and get rid of him. Right now he's immune. If you if if you if you uh, if you get caught in in the ice from cover, don't don't worry about it. If you get caught in your super from cover, don't worry about it, because it's like five 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 or six seconds, five seconds something like that, and you you will break out of it on your own. So now we're at the boss room. There are two ads that we have to worry about, so I'm just checking there. Yep, there's the other captain. There you get a couple of waves of these. So, just be careful. I'm going to finish them. Because I know... It seems like quite often if I finish an enemy, I do get attrition. So, we'll just want to take these out. You get these. You get basically about three waves. Make sure I get my grenade back. He's finishable. You see there? I actually used that to my advantage. Now, this is where it gets sticky. So you get two waves, and now we're getting a third, but the boss is here now. If it gets hairy, 
get off the edge. Now, you'll see here, this is where to go. Not the platform just below. I've seen captains come and stand. Man, I didn't realise I was so close to death there. Normally, I, I would just go off the edge there. Captains will come over here and they will shoot you. Right? But they're less likely. They can't get the angle from down here. The boss can also hit you with his super when you're down here. If you're going to go to the platform above to the left, you see that see the cap the captain's there. He can't really get an angle on you. If you're going to go up to this platform up here, stay close to the wall. I'm kind of not. You can see I got caught there and because there were captains I broke myself out. Stay close to the wall. If you're going to go up, up to that next one, stay close to the wall and more to the back. Make that angle as tight as possible from them to you. So what I'm waiting for here really, I don't really want to go up and attack anything while there's two captains. And I'm guessing there's some, some snipers. So you can go to the back here. Really make that angle tight. You can crouch as, as well as I've said. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and just do a little bit of that. Put a well down. If I do get captured, just throw my grenade up there. See if I can... See if I can uh, get any any purchase. I'm, I, I knew I wasn't going to kill anything with it. But if I could damage something enough, I would get it back and just lower the lower the threat. Can't really hit him. I am getting hit myself, it feels like. Yep, there's one captain gone. When you take the, these ads, it will just be you and the boss. I haven't, I never encountered any other ads after this. And that's the other captain. So now I feel a little bit safe. I know I've got some nutrition. So I just floated up the edge to grab it. And then managed to make it back. No problem. Now what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to go up. And I'm going to see if I can take the last couple of ads. I don't think there's many. Take the last couple of ads. See some attrition if I need it. I know, I, I'm wanting to know if there's any more ads. Because it's not the boss. The ads seem to be the problem. Got, I've got a well, a rift, sorry. There is an ad, so I'll just put my grenade down and let's see if that finishes the ad as well. It does. Nova. And you can see that the Nova does a lot of damage, but the tracking is the, that's, that's the one. So we'll just back away. We don't really want to get captured too many times. And I, I think I do get captured one more time, but I'm, because I'm in cover, yep, I put my rift down. You can see... Even though I got captured, uh, I was getting my overshield, so no real problem. Charge the grenade, throw the grenade, and that's all she wrote. That is it, just play the mechanics. If, if, if it gets dangerous, go to the second platform down, and just wait till you get your health and your abilities. And that's it, guys. Uh, solo Master, Flawless Master, Empire Hunt, using the Thunderlord. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, a like and a comment is always appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.